I'm coming down to, you know, go hard 100%. One half of the and realized that being exciting isn't enough in the and winning a clear-cut decision over Mac Danzig in San at 155 pounds. The work is done. Knockout. Only 23, Diaz is wise beyond his years. His medal when caught in a dogfight. This was never more evident to become a champion. I gotta get out there, I gotta work harder than him. You know what, I know he was a carpenter, but he should really be clay yesterday at the weigh-ins. He was already bouncing around and ready to go. Come to that, he really is a, a, a tireless worker, both considering the fact that he's an excellent wrestler, he has a very good top game, but truly is on most nights to make his up the dance. It was just overwhelming that fight by the pace, by the, the pressure that Cleve deal with. Incredible cardio is right. But you see that in the, in the, in the team straight fights in his mixed martial arts career. It's with heart and conditioning. And one will never crush away one of the coolest guys you can ever meet. Absolutely. Super nice guy, friendly to everybody. And he still lives with his mom, but he's proud of it, you know? What? <laughs> And that hair, I mean, that is, I think he feels like an animal when it's all there. I truly wonder if his takedown put his hair. Maybe that's his power. One thing we know, the Carpenter Guida. Watching him warm up. Yeah, that dude is a ball of energy. From a fighting family, Two overall in his mixed martial arts career. Five and brother of Nick Diaz. And when you talk about just, you are talking about Nate Diaz. And Nate Diaz, a very technique. He goes with excellent technique, but measured energy. He does it like, has awesome submissions, both off of his back and on top. We've seen him submit some weight flexed. And, you know, gave the double bird time. He's, you know, more colorful. You meet the guy in person, he's a very cool guy, very nice. Very and when he says, you know, I'm here to whoop that ass, I mean, that's a very well-rounded guy. And again, 23 years old. Couple of hugely impressive wins over Kurt Pellegrino. The tape for this lightweight fight, Diaz, 23 years old. Guida, 20 vantage. Ladies and gentlemen, winner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of get Johnsburg, Illinois. Clara. And now introducing his opponent, weighing in at 156 pounds, fighting out of Stockton, California. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Lovin. Guida and Diaz. out what should be a magical night an interesting gonna have a hard time passing that guard and he's gonna find himself in danger I don't Guido's not a guy who really likes to pass Joe he's one of those guys who will stay in the garden trust all of his energy he just pat 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 frustrates you jabs you in the face just picking apart what should be the better striker and that's a perfect example. and Nate just picked him apart picked him apart excuse me Nick just picked him apart Guido got caught but with the reach, eight inches, the advantage for Nate Diaz. I think, and you know, a lot of people underestimate Nate Diaz's striking because it doesn't look like he's doing. Looking Clay for Guida. the single. Yeah, he's got a hold of that leg. Back, very versatile. Really, really. Guida there. Clay's covering up well, avoiding the punches. But he's having, he's going under. Clay Guida's on top. And very good control, good pressure, good hips. 24 wins. In his mixed martial arts career, he's only 27. Skills of Diaz come into, come into significant bad situations before, and he stays calm, and he gets out of them. This here, Clay Bear. Interesting, and he uses it to get that side control. Great energy, and his great body positioning, and his relentlessness. It's going to be a historic night. When I was in high school, that was the, that was the thing, man. That was a he's got a signal, and he Diaz is Diaz. out. He's got to look out. Diaz scrambled and Nate avoided it. Excuse me, and Clay avoided it. Will jump all over any opening. Yeah, Clay Guida shoved his arm underneath Nate Diaz. Seconds left in round one. And this is what we saw in the Mac Danzig fight. He wears guys. Jason, UFC veteran Joey Gilbert, BJ Pence. First and a nice leg kick to finish the round. Yeah, very good finish to round one. Hey. 
You want Lambs Nate Diaz down. Diaz scrambles, trying to get some sort of a submission attempt, but here's a nice knee here. Yeah, Great for aggressive. Get that leg kick going. Get that leg kick going. He has no. The one thing we have seen in Clay Guida's fighting career is absolutely amazing. Trains at the inst. Nate Diaz with a, it's a big jab. Nice utilization of the reach by Nate Diaz. Sting of Nate Diaz's true talents has gotten progressively tough. Yeah, I, I do believe that this. Just about a minute into the second round. Good takedown defense by Nate Diaz. We just got him up, but he can't take him down. Nate stop. And he might use this to try to sweep him as well. Hey, good job of keeping and use this Kimura to throw Clay Guida. Got it again. Nate Diaz. He's got it again. Now he's going to try to hit the Kimura again. Head up. They're worried about him getting caught in a guillotine here. He's got to be careful. Oh, it's long range, Joe. He hit the switch this time and he wound up on top. Midway point of the fight. Nate. Trying to control. Guida just sticks on you like glue, man. That's the thing about him. Frustration in the face of Mac Danzig in Guida's victory over him. Back in what a great fight that was. What a great display of heart by Roger. And you hear his corner yelling, get on top, get on top. Around the left leg of Nate Diaz to try to hold his body in place. Except here, if Nate Diaz can separate Clay Guida's arm from his... Okay, he's not in half guard anymore. Now he's got to be careful of getting arm barred himself. Pitbull just locks on you. You know what? I love his quote that he wants to make alone for just a half a second. <laughs> Let me regroup here. And again, Nate going once he gets down on the ground. This Wait. is too hard to... Yes. Going to run out of time here in the round, though. Not a mark on him, Joe. That means that's, a, that's, a, that's the way to break the clinch, okay? You understand that? Yeah. More punches from you. Hey. I need you to disengage everything, okay? I need you to let some hands go. I need a definitive round. I need a definitive round. That truly is the definition, though, when he says... One of, one of the very best in the world. The Guida boys in one corner, the D... And you see him never get desperate with his punches, though. You know what I mean? Like, what I... Finish the fight. And when you include his run through the Ultimate Fighter, he's Clay in that exchange. Let's see how long it takes for Clay to look for a takedown. Paul nice away with the lead. Diaz. Yep. Had that lead. We've seen this before. Switching the stance people around. People don't like his attitude, but brother. He's starting to pick apart. He's landed some like excellent shots. Like... Or single as he has right here. I think it would definitely be. Clay has a hold of the legs. Taking a look at the clock. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Nate Diaz go for a ride here. Or he might try to spin, but not, but not completely. Another Kimura going. Clay's got his back now. Junior collegiate. They're talking to each other, but I don't, I don't know what. It's amazing. Throws up those legs again, looking for a truck. Not surprisingly, one of Guida's heroes. Guida is proud of his work ethic. No question. 25 below, 10 foot waves. Then he took an easy. Of a stinking fish boat. Easy. A five-round title fight, he said, would be a piece of cake compared to working there. Stays on top of Nate. And it looks like he might be able to... Clay Guida, Nate Diaz, go! Here we see Nate Diaz landing some very crisp punches. Land some good comment. Clay Guida gets Nate Diaz down, goes for his back, slips off. Two of them. Very, very fast-paced fight. Who has earned the decision? Clay Guida or Nate? Gathering the judge's decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after Diaz. 
Roy Silver scores a 29 20 in. Clay the Carpenter beat Nate Diaz inside the octagon. A great fight between two very exciting performers in the light. Walk on them like glue. You've got to be happy with the fight. Thank you so much, Joe. And I want to thank Alex, MTC, the crew, my brother, Jason, man, Danny Gilbert, Joey Gilbert, all my guys, my wrestling coaches. I know it wasn't pretty. It's a win. Like I